Okay, good afternoon everybody. Uh, it's my second day being sick, so I guess we're just going to do this again um, through video. Okay, so we're going to open up our Photoshop here, and we should have our PSD file from yesterday, and we'll just open it up on Recents, or uh, you can either do that way, or go File, um, Open, and find it on your desktop and open it up. Either way, you should have... Um, two different layers, one the original which is locked and the other one which is the merged version of all of the symmetry that we've done. So if you turn on the visibility on and off you can see here is the original um, looking fine and then the symmetry layer when you turn the visibility off you can see it's much different because we've used the marquee tool to sort of switch over and of course the eraser tool to blend um, in those new uh, new eyes, nose, and mouths. All right, so now we're going to get onto the skin edit, and it's some of the stuff we'll be kind of familiar with because we've done it in Lightroom already, but it's just a new way of doing something we already know how to do. So in order to sort of keep everything the way that we want it to be so we don't, um, where it's a non-destructive way of editing, uh, I'm going to duplicate this layer here, so I can either right-click, control-click, and duplicate layer, or the shortcut for that is uh, your command J, and when I hit Command J on my keyboard, you see that I now have symmetry copy, and I'm going to retitle this or rename this layer Skin Edit. Okay? So again, that was just Command J, or you can um, right click or control click on it, and you can see if you right click or control click, you just can duplicate layer. But the shortcut on that is Command J. And I changed the name to Skin Edit, and now I'm ready to edit the skin. I'm going to go on the symmetry layer and lock it using the lock on the layers panel, and that's just so I don't uh, have accidentally edit in the wrong spot. So I'm going to zoom in here using the navigator. I can also use the Z tool, um, or I can go over here to the toolbar where this is the Z. The Z is the keyboard shortcut for the zoom tool. And uh, I'm taking a look at the skin here and trying to see what kind of skin edits I wanted to. So because we are doing this as a demonstration on how to do skin edits, I know that I'm going to take out some of the discoloration, the skin spots. Um, I'm probably going to edit some of the eyebrow here and crow's feet and smaller wrinkles on this. So I'm going to go over to the toolbar here and uh, you'll see it might look like this little patch here. It also could look like a band-aid um, or any of these things right here. The short, the keyboard shortcut on it is J. Um, so these, the first three tools are kind of going to be the tools that we're going to be working with mostly. The first one is the spot healing brush tool and it is very very similar to uh, the one that we worked with, the adjustment layers brush that we worked with in Lightroom. Again, when I click on the tool up on the top, you can see what ends up happening is the option bar changes and I can adjust the size of my brush here or I can use my square brackets. Uh, the blend mode on this one will just leave it as normal, make sure it says content aware. And I don't want to sample all layers on at this point, not for this particular activity. So what I'm going to do when I use my uh, spot healing brush tool I, it just intuitively, because Photoshop uh, is going to sample pixels close by, and it's just automatically, as you can see, I'm just sort of drawing these, painting these lines on, and it's finding pixels close by, and it's filling in the pixels that I don't want with pixels that uh, Photoshop is thinking I do want. And you can see it really works quite well, and it's pretty easy. Uh, to do because you just sort of paint it on and it's different from Lightroom in that it doesn't give us uh, all of those weird little circles that Lightroom gives us when we're doing it so it, it's a lot easier I don't think it would be to your benefit and I'll just show you why not uh, if I had a huge uh, brush for this and I just you know went over top because uh, you get some weird effects happening here see how this one is kind of like orange with a blue outline uh, so I'm just going to command Z that uh, you want it to be relatively subtle so that one is the healing brush tool and then if you go back to the toolbar and you take a look it has what they have um, Oh, sorry, that one's, sorry, the spot healing brush tool. The healing brush tool is the one where we tell it which pixels to sample. So you press Option or Alt on your keyboard, and when you do that, I don't know if you can see, it turns into kind of like a little bullseye there. And what it's doing, let me show you. See this little bald spot here on the uh, eyebrow? So I'm going to s select my target as this down here, and I click on it. And then what it's doing is it's going to, as I draw, it's going to sample... 
uh, pixels from kind of below that area and it's kind of working a little bit strangely it's not quite as I expected it to be um, but really what it should be and if I show you uh, maybe up here you can see see it's pulling it see what I don't know if you can see where that little cross is it's pulling pixels from there and putting it up here obviously in this case it's not what I want I'm just gonna go to the history and I'll take that away healing brush tool and actually I'm gonna go up because I don't like how the color kind of went strange on that one but the healing brush tool you're telling it exactly where to uh, grab the pixels from to paint it I'll try it from over here maybe that's gonna be a little bit better to add usually I use uh, that particular tool if I'm going to get really uh, close in like almost like a super zoom and then what I'll do is I use it for eyelashes and things of that nature okay so that one right there is the healing brush the spot healing brush is intuitive it does it all it's on its own and the patch tool is really cool because I'm going to use the patch tool I'm going to zoom in up here do you notice right here and I use the space bar to turn it into the hand or you could click on the hand or you could use just use the navigator to move yourself around and uh, I'll press J and I already have the um, patch tool on and the patch tool is going to work kind of like a lasso just like the lasso tool kind of and you see this little hair that's kind of out of place so I'm just going to circle it like that now this is what's selected now if I grab it and just move it what I have done uh, is I've said I want it to have these particular uh, pixels and not the pixels that I have and when I'm done again the way that you get rid of your marching ants or your, what you selected is just command D and that's not too bad it's a little blurry here so if I was doing this and getting paid to do this I probably would do it in smaller sections a little bit at a time and um, it'll be a little bit more even now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna keep going in here and I'll just use and I like to work actually in a pretty close zoom although this isn't as close as I normally would but that's okay I'm just trying to do it as a quick demonstration and I'm just going to go in I'm gonna get rid of some of the uh, areas of, that are a little bit wrinkled and I want you to give it a, a try to each one of them the spot healing brush the patch I'm just gonna move down here and the healing brush tool right here I think I'll use the patch I think that one probably works the nicest for this I'll just circle this area right in here see so I just circle it and I tell it where I want to grab the pixels from and when I like what I see just command E and actually if you look on the patch you'll see here it says content aware which we want to use the structure is um, sort of how how unfeathered we want it to be and the color is how close to the color we want it to be so I'll show you that a little bit later on so get rid of this one and I want it to kind of be like that maybe I'll go like that and go over here take that one out go over here take that one out see this is kind of a strange little I just wanna make it still look like skin um, but make that skin a little bit more even um, and there we go let me go over here too take this one out a little bit oh maybe this right here don't discolor it like don't take the color totally out that's not what we're doing right now currently that'll be for another day but we can still kind of try to make it as blemish free as possible again this one's the patch tool and I'll go back to the spot healing brush tool and uh, let's see I'll make sure I have it on content aware and go down um, and let me just zoom out here so command zero or use your navigator and you can see right now how we're working we've got the before and after skin edit and of course I'll go in I think and I'll do some more areas on here and, and uh, see how that's working but essentially I think that's pretty good for today I think one more thing I want to do before we're done is maybe right here I'll use that patch tool one more time 
let's see what happens if you do this. Oh, that got a little fuzzy, didn't it? Ah, uh, so maybe I'll undo that one. I'll have to go down and get that right from there. Maybe do this in smaller sequences so it's not quite as fuzzy. Pull this one from here. Uh, let's see how that one works out. Let me pull this one from here. Let me just deselect and I'm going to come in zero. Oh yeah, that's something that we're going to have to go over and fix. I don't think that one worked too well. So let's zoom in. Press the Z. And let's see. I'll go over that I think with the healing brush tool. So the healing brush tool, I'm going to option so I know where I'm sampling it from. And I'll try and I'll option click there. Option click there. See, you can see where it's kind of because the little cross as I'm doing it. See the cross at the top right above the brush. It kind of gives you an idea of where it's picking those pixels from. So it just gives you a little bit more control. Uh, there we go. And maybe um, let's option click from here. Actually, let me option click from over on the side. And bring that over a little bit. And then command zero out. Okay, so you still see I need a little bit of work there, but that's something that I think uh, we're not doing too poorly at this point. So take some time, and then when you're done all of these ones, uh, again, you just want to shift command S, so you, you're saving it as a PSD, and then um, spend some time on those skin edits. And then I think I'll go in and do some burning and dodging with you just after that. But that's a good 10 minutes uh, a video, so... Work on your skin edit, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.